You may already know that you can use Document to send automated emails containing your finalized output documents. But in this video, we'll show you how to use Invisible Logic to create conditions determining which email address those email messages are sent to. So here in this workflow, we have some general information, including the client's email, which we're collecting in an email type question. And then on the second page, we're asking a few more questions that we'll use to set our logic. So here, we're asking if the clients consent to the transfer of this information via email, and we're asking if they would like, and we're asking if they would like to send the documents to themselves or directly to their attorney. So once we set these questions up, we're going to add a new page, and we'll add an invisible logic question to this page. So the first step here is to create a text type variable, and this will store our final email address. So we'll call it here, final email address. And we're going to leave this section blank. Then we'll click over to add invisible logic and we'll set our conditions. So what I want to say here is that if the client has consented to email and they've decided to receive the email themselves first, then we want to set final email address equal to the client's email. If they've consented to email, but they want their attorney to receive the emails first, then we'll set the final email address equal to the attorney's email. Otherwise, if they haven't consented to emails, then we won't send an email at all. So the way that we'll do this is we'll set our first if condition. So if email consent is yes, and we'll add a second layer. And send to is I would like to receive the documents. Then we'll set final email address equal to the variable client email. And then we'll use this elf, else if to say otherwise, if email consent is yes, and the client wants to send the document straight to their attorney, then final email address will be equal to the attorney's email address. Otherwise, in all other cases, we want final email address to be blank. So then we'll save that logic and come to output documents. And then our final step is to check this send finalized documents to email address box and select final email address. Then based on the logic that we set, whatever we set the final email address to will be entered here. And that email address will receive the finalized output documents.